Oh, it was probably here the review of the. Gosh, this <laughs> is a review of the Ultra Monster, no, Ultra Kaiju series, number ninety-seven, Busca, and number one fifty-seven, Dada powered version. So yeah, um, obviously technically chronologically it should be Dada and then Busca, but obviously uh Busca being released all the way back in 2018 during the uh during the airing of Rube as he showed up in the Halloween episode and then here we have uh Powered Dada who obviously originally showed up in Ultraman Powered however this iteration not this iteration uh this got released from due to his appearance in uh Trigger during the second uh, Trigger and Zet crossover. So um, I forgot how I do these vinyl reviews. So I guess I'll just take these off. Jeez. Oh, see? Look, I actually got it. <laughs> Poor Busca. So here they are untagged. Here are the respective tags of them. Look how cute. Busca is. He's one of my favorite kaijus. He's really cute. He's so fluffy. I want a plush of him. <laughs> Nothing. Then we have uh, Powered Dada. I assume this is a new picture of his appearance from Trigger. But honestly, quality wise, it looks like this is actually from Powered, so I'm very glad. <laughs> yeah. So that's essentially it. So obviously, we'll take a look at Busca first as Dada stands to the side. Just look at him. Like, oh my gosh. Busca is so cute. <laughs> just, just look at him. Um, what the heck is it? Um, so obviously, a Busca obviously is not, as you can see, he's not as dark as his suit is supposed to be. But, you know, they did a nice job at replicating, like, the fur pattern, pattern, pattern and such, as he does have spots. Obviously, he's not completely colored, sadly. Um, uh, what I was going to say is that his texture is very rough. To emulate like fur and such. I don't know what Busco is supposed to be exactly, but I love Netherless. Look at his crown. This is actually go painted gold, which is neat. And obviously, he has his spots up here. He looks like a giraffe, essentially. And then look, look at his tail. <laughs> so, articulation wise, he just has head articulation up that goes all around. He tan can't uh, he can't rotate his arms completely but you can make him like he's fronting away like uh kind of thing <laughs> other than that um he's very basic but it's fine because it's Busca. obviously he's not a spark doll <laughs> there's nothing much with Busca. He he's good enough Anyways, the true star, uh, Dada. <laughs> um, so, obviously, this Dada is a redesign from the original. Um, because this one is very link linky. <laughs> such. Um, he doesn't even have arms at all. All he does is just stuff like this. And then, like... Powered would just dodge him, <laughs> and so, so Dada would just stand. Powered will, you know, he will shoot fire, and that stuff. And I think this is based off the original Dada because his eyes are orange. But um, the black lining on this vinyl is actually pretty neat, and I actually I appreciate the fact they did paint the back. Obviously, you can tell they didn't paint it fully, but you know, I guess like. I guess to sacrifice something to get the back, the 
it's like okay and uh my issue with this one is just obviously a thing you're gonna have to deal with finals is that my data is sadly very imbalanced because <laughs> he's either gonna stand on this foot or lean on that foot because mine is bent slightly <laughs> so he won't stand like this most likely he won't stand like that speaking of arms articulation wise he can actually rotate his arms all the way through then he has the waist swivel both ways obviously because as you can tell i don't think this is supposed to happen uh mine is kind of separated because i think it's supposed to be seamless but then this is a lot bigger than the legs which technically makes it easy for you to pop it in half <laughs> so there's that. Obviously, this happens. Just simply push this back in. Gosh. <laughs> push this back in like so. And you're back to normal. Obviously, because we have to, use Powered and Dada. Now, Powered finally has a villain. He has a kaiju. He can fight. So, again, shoots fire. Dodges. <laughs> but other than that, um, I'm pretty happy about this. I actually have something that Power can actually fight from his series that isn't Kyoryu Sensha. <laughs> but yeah, um, that will have to do with um this review, <laughs> because they're just two vinyls and such, and that this table is not good enough to um, balance <laughs> things and such so I can't do any like perspective kind of things unless I want to do something like this which this won't allow what the heck happened back here man he's getting a lot of scuffs being boxed but should not really take too long at this but, um, <laughs> anyways, <laughs> overall, uh, my thoughts on these two is that, obviously it's an ultra kaiju, so it's just like, if you want to like build up your kaiju army more, then I'll say go right at it. Um, obviously I heavily, obviously because I had to get power data because it's, from powered power to my absolute favorite ultra <laughs> and obviously Busca is just really cute it's like well who would not want Busca however um I should say I actually managed to pick up power data off of HLJ uh Busca obviously because this is Busca's a lot older so you're gonna have to find him through Mandarake which is really stressful <laughs> because most of the time he'll actually be bought. Luckily I actually managed to find him on a whim. For retail price. And I was like heck yeah add him to the box. <laughs> so um. Yeah. Uh, that's essentially it. Um, again I don't know if what more. Of. These final reviews I would do. But if they do any more powered. Kaijus then. Yeah, I'm up for it. This is Power Art, and I'll leave these people. Bye.